There's a lot of pressure to embellish your resume, but lying about your qualifications could be disastrous. You may be confused about where to draw the line, especially if you're new to the job market or returning after some time off. Hey everybody, it's Belinda. Before you exaggerate on your resume, listen to this. It is a disturbing situation because the risk and consequences of getting caught are so high. Hiring managers may notice inconsistencies between your online profile and your application. Or your new boss may have a conversation with one of your former co-workers. As a result, you could lose a job offer or even be fired. You can avoid exaggerating on your resume and still present yourself as an outstanding candidate. Try these alternative strategies for making your experience and education sound as impressive as possible without stretching the truth. Being honest about your experience. Seek professional help if you're having trouble attracting job offers or feel like you need to market yourself more effectively. Consider working with a job coach or a resume service. Someone with expertise in human resources can help you deal with weaknesses and showcase your strengths. List correct dates. Gaps in employment history are common these days. Explain how you use your downtime productively with contract work or volunteering. State your job title. What if you operated at a higher level than your job title suggested? Or few employers would understand what it even means. Put the official label on your resume, but back it up with additional details about what you actually did. Assess your skills. Is there a long list of software programs and foreign languages at the bottom of your resume? Be sure to describe your level of proficiency and fluency accurately. You may be tested during the hiring process or on the job. Consider your hobbies. Unless your pastimes are relevant to the position, you can usually leave them off. But if you do mention them, pick activities you really participate in. Do volunteer work. Supporting worthy causes is a great way to make your resume stand out. If you've been neglecting your charitable sides, it's easy to catch up. Call a volunteer hotline or ask your neighbors about local nonprofits they like. Being honest about your education. Forget about grades. Outside of academia, few employers will want to hear about your GPA. On the other hand, you may want to brag about graduating summa cum laude if the facts bear it out. Declare your major. Cheer up. Even if the job ad specifies a different major than yours, most companies are flexible about such matters. Complete your degree. Claiming fictitious degrees can be dangerous to your career. If you need additional credentials to advance, consider going back to school or taking additional courses at a local university or online. Honesty is the safer policy when it comes to applying for a job. Design a resume that will help you sell yourself and double check the contents to ensure you're painting an accurate picture of your background and potential. I'll see y'all at the next video.